Tampa Bay Buccaneers football. We're back finally. It's our first game of the season. And it's the creamsicle game. The red hot Detroit Lions in town today. Four and one record on the year. Being hosted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, equally exceeding expectations with a three and one record. Baker is baking. What will happen when one of the top rated offenses in the NFL meets one of the top rated defenses in the NFL? The Detroit Lions also the top rated gadget run plays this year. And as usual, we're in the middle of it. Lots of police activity outside. What is happening? VIPs, Detroit Lions. They have arrived, and here we go. She's eating creamsicles. He's eating creamsicles. Drumline moving in already. This is possibly the latest that we've ever gotten here for a game. Uh, due to traffic on I-4. Oh, creamsicles right here. Three creamsicles. Wow. Let's take a look around the beach. Get your creamsicles. <laughs> it is packed out here. That's for sure. Holy cow. That's amazing. We've made it to the beach. Dave Green was out here meeting. Punter kicker from 76 to 79. We got a buck up Reeves helmet. Buck up Bruce. We got beer specials, 476 or 376. Cause 1976, yo. Chalk man is back. We can do a little coloring. And of course today is all about the throwbacks. The hat that they released today. A little corduroy action. We got free bucket hats. Thanks bro. Enjoy the game. Thank you. All right. Stairway to heaven time. Let's take a spin around, shall we? So gone this year are the atrocity temporary seats. Back we have bars and concessions here. It's one of the reasons why I got rid of my seats last year because I hated these seats that were down lower here. People above were pelting us with shit the whole game. Let's take a quick look around. The field looks amazing. Pirate ship flying the creamsicle flags. We're gonna head over by the pirate ship first, see what's going on over that way. I had the sample outside and now I had to have the full thing. Throwback city here. Sweatshirts, jerseys, hey, hey, Tampa Bay. We've made it around the corner. It's glorious. We always have to come by and say hello to the crew. My God, it's Tim Tebow. We outside! NFL cameras blocking the ability to take pictures in front of the skull today. What's happening with this crowd? This man is bacon. Yeah, baby! <laughs> It's going down. Let's find our seats. And here we are. The view from the cheap seats today. Baker Mayfield out there. It is glorious here with all of the orange. Look at midfield. Even the walls. I love it. Rondé on the big screen. The greatest football player of all time is on the screen. The A-Train. You 
could not ask for a nicer day today too. That could be the game. Yes! Devin White firing him up. It's gonna be all defense today. Beat a Bay out there. Get the ball first.
Baker's getting ready to beat. Third down, baby. Bucks punted first drive. Baker with an INT. And the Lions poised to score. Woo! Lions kick a field goal up by three. I have to tell you what, it is 76 degrees out right now, and that of course is the year that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers were founded. Do something, Baker. He's running for his life. First quarter is over. We are losing by three points. The original cheerleaders were on the field in 1976 to 83. Oh no. Dropped. Oh lord. Field goes up. And good. Good God, I went to the bathroom and the Lions just scored. Kiss! Lord, this is nuts. So at halftime, the Lions are up 10 to 3. We're in the red zone. So as the flags are flying over here, I have to tell you a story that you may not be proud of watching this channel. There may have been one Monday Night Football game when my dad was still alive that we snuck down to those areas where they fly the flags and tried to sit in their seats. And the flag waver came by and we asked them if we could wave the flags. And I did. And it was glorious. And there was a lot of beverages to be had. Ball is against the Bucks. Evans pushing. Chip shot coming up. It's good. It is I have to give credit. That was an amazing touchdown. Holy shit. Wow. At the end of three, we're down 17 to six. Oh boy. And we are down 20 to six now. We've got 10 minutes, 37 seconds left. We're down 20 to 6. Well, four minutes left. We got smoked. And there it is. Vinny T. I guess this is the walk of shame, but I kind of have the Lions pegged to go pretty deep into the playoffs. And so, by the way, this is the way it is leaving Raymond James Stadium every game for years. If you don't ditch out, before the end of the game, you're gonna be sitting here for hours. All right, so I'm back home. It's actually the next day. Just wanna do a quick recap. Um, going back to the Bucks was awesome. Uh, no more temporary seats in the end zone, which was fantastic. Um, paying for a, a single game ticket also felt fantastic with no obligation that I need to try to make every single game and look out every week. Um, but, uh, you know, a couple, couple things. Um, I don't think anyone really expects the team to do well this year. And I think even when we went to uh, preseason practice uh, during the summer, I said that, I, you know, I think that maybe they either make the playoffs and be like a one out type of a team or just fall short of the playoffs. They are exceeding expectations. They're doing a lot better uh, than I think anyone would have given them credit for. I didn't think I would even give uh, Baker Mayfield much credit whatsoever. I thought Kyle Trask would be the answer, but uh, Baker is doing what he can. 
I think yesterday's game, um, they kind of beat themselves and it wasn't necessarily Baker Mayfield that did it. A, they have no running game whatsoever. Um, no plays that are effectively drawn up for running, but more importantly, we don't have a very quality or a good quality running back and no offensive line to, to, to make holes for anybody to run the ball in. Um, some of the throws that Baker made were on point and they were just dropped. There were a couple good clear drops there. I know that I saw one from Mike for sure. Um, and a couple of the passes towards the end, they weren't that great either. Um, but overall, I don't put the loss on uh, Baker Mayfield either. I just think that uh, the Bucks are not of the same quality team that the Lions are this year. And that happens, right? Like, but they're not a paper bag head team yet um, as well. So... Um, it was fun. It was fun getting back to the game and, and not being around people that just expected them to win all the time. It felt like the Buccaneers the way that they have been for years, which to me is the team that I choose and love to go see. But for now, we're going to get out of here. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great day. See you guys.